welcome to my channel my name is Bukola Oriola and I want to quickly talk about two of the equipment that I use this machine right here oh my goodness <laughs> you know for those of you who use if you are selling your product please I'm begging you go and invest in this if you are making lotion so i use this product and see my products here i even <laughs> i make candles the reason i make candles is because my sister forced me to make candles so i am not selling candles in the united states at the moment the candles are made but they are being sold outside of the country so let's get back to this machine freestanding overhead tiara you can get it on Amazon and trust me, they have great customer care. I happened to stumble upon them during the pandemic. After researching and getting quotes from different companies and learning, you know, all kinds of um, ways to find the right equipment to use. And finally, I chose freestanding. And one of the reasons why I chose them was because I like how they said it can make up to 20 liters, even though I'm not making 20 liters yet. I'm just a little tiny formulator. Please patronize. Patronize. Go to ewabotanicals.com and patronize. So, you know, um, I I bought this because I saw that the blade to emulsify is thick. And I really like that. Let me get the blade. So this is the blade and you can see how thick this is. Oh my goodness. You know, this thing works wonders. It's so thick and it does good job with emulsification. Emulsifying can be very difficult. <laughs> Honestly, especially when you are using this one. <laughs> this one, you know, it can do uh, 500 grams. Yeah. 500 grams but the moment what you are formulating is over 500 grams this is really hard to work with and trust me your hands will be tired not only that sometimes the consistency with the same kinds of ingredients the consistency will be different and you don't want that but this will always give you the same consistency all the time the only um thing or maybe what i will say caution to this is that when you are working at a higher rpm so you set the thing and there is what they call rpm pardon me i do not know the full meaning of rpm but in uh, from you know kind of logic is how the thing is turning like the speed at which it's turning because when you put it at lower rpm it just turns little little kind of like lower than I've used lower than 500, I've used one something, I've used 200 and something, it turns low, but the moment you get it to over 1000 RPM, oh my goodness, it's going this way, it's going that way, you know, kind of, and I, I can understand why, because I reached out to them about that, and they said it's made to do that, the reason is because they made this thing to be able to work with 20 liters that's a lot if you are formulating 20 liters you are going to be having a big uh container meaning this thing needs to move around like that to be able to get you know everything so i understand why that is and when we are doing emotion emotion is mixing water and oil together <laughs> it does need <laughs> a lot of agitation to also bring it together to form that you find emotion for you so it, it's understandable why this we do that to be able to emulsify the product so what i recommend is to use plastic beakers so i got myself a couple of plastic beakers i have up to 500 000, uh, 500 grams so when i'm formulating like 3000 grams products that is an emotion and that emotion is always like lotion body butter emulsified body butter or um conditioner when i'm because conditioner is formulated the same way you formulate lotion or body butter i mean emulsified body, body butter that has water in it 
so i use the same containers to do those so i use plastic container i'm still formulating kind of 3000 grams i've not gone over 3000 grams yet because i said that i'm a small formulator so um I use plastic beaker. This beaker is 2000 grams. So this one, sometimes if I want to just make a quick, um, even 500 grams, I can use this beaker. But this beaker can do 1000 grams. So usually when you are formulating a lotion, it's always good to use a beaker that can hold double the size or almost double the size. Otherwise, your emotion will not fit the container by the time you are adding everything that needs to go in it's not going the container will not be able to hold it unfortunately even though they put the lines there please don't even follow those lines so anyhow um that is what i do and the reason is because although this is a uh, 100 gram beaker or ml i don't use glass beakers when i'm working on lotions the reason is because I've, I've broken two beakers. This thing is super powerful. So I don't use glass beakers when I'm formulating emotion, when I'm doing lotion or um, conditioner, because they need a lot of agitation. So, and I go over 1000 RPM, at least for the emulsification process. Then when it's cool down, then I come down. When I'm adding cool down ingredients, sometimes I'm doing like 500 RPM, 600 RPM. But when you want to emulsify the water and the oil, you need higher RPM to do that work fast for you. And also this thing has time setting. I set it to, when I'm doing emulsification, I set it to three minutes or four minutes at a time. So when it does the thing for that amount of minutes, it will stop because you kind of need it to do and stop and do and stop and do and stop until you see that you already have everything emulsified, it's looking good for you, then you can leave it. Sometimes you have to do it, you know, a couple of times for you to get there. And another thing is that I like, I bought their lab scale. <laughs> Freestanding lab scale is an investment. The scale costs over two hundred dollars. I bought the lab scale, and I'm not regretting buying the lab, their lab scale. The reason is because also, if you are selling your product, you just have to make some investment. Otherwise, you keep wasting money. That was what happened to me. I was wasting money buying all these little little um scale. That this thing can measure zero point zero one so it's good it can measure 0 0.01 and it can measure up to 3000 so why not so i use it to measure even the tiniest um grain of ingredient this uh scale we measure it and the reason why I love it so much is that I said you, it can be idle. So when it's idle, it doesn't go off. So for example, I noticed the other scales that I had, whenever you are measuring on that scale, if you, are, you have to be done like quickly, two minutes or less, otherwise it will just go off. It has happened to me. And then you have to start all over again. That is so frustrating. But this one is not going to go off. If it's idle, the light will turn off, but your number will still be there. And it will still be working. And the moment you keep working on it, things, you know, you keep having your stuff. And it's plugged in. So I really like that about this scale. I will also say invest in a scale like this to do your work. And I just want to make a disclaimer here. I am not Amazon affiliate, but you can get this product from Amazon. Both equipment you can get from Amazon. Also... <laughs> Uh, freestanding did not pay me to do any kind of advertisement for them but i am just someone who appreciates good stuff and also good customer service when i ordered their stuff i didn't get to use it when i needed to use it and when i reached out to them oh my goodness their customer service person his name is jack jack was so good at the way he responded 
and transparent throughout the process so i couldn't even be angry instead i was just like okay life happens just roll with it and i did and today they've been um dear to my heart the whole team you know mark i get to meet other people on their team that um are working in that company including you know mag bosses and all of that and i'm really really grateful to all of them there at freestanding it's one thing for you to be able to buy good product it's another thing completely to be able to get a team that cares about their product and the people using their product because those kinds of people will help you even when you run into challenges they will be there to give you the support you need when you have issues they will be glad to help you when i had you know my bigger break i'm like what the heck is going on i reached out to mark he said send me a video let me see what's happening because i was looking for something to tighten it and he said oh their technician said no don't tighten anything that is the way it's supposed to work so you need to change the container you see otherwise i wouldn't have known if they had horrible customer service person i would know that oh I needed to change the container that I was using to produce. So sometimes I will use um, also stainless steel. So I have I have this. Although this is for my um, what's that thing called? Kitchen aid. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you know, but this also can do a motion, which is really really nice i've never used it for emotion but i've used it for body butter that is hydrous body butter and my herbal body and hair products where is it my hair and body butter i started with it as hair and body balm but now it's hair and body butter but here you say hair and body balm but now i call it hair and body butter and this one i i use this machine to make it it's similar the texture kinds of feel similar to lotion but there's no water in it it's interesting there's no water in it bunch of seed oils and hydrogenated vegetable oil and you know i can't even believe it as i was putting out my product i realized oh my goodness right here i have 18 product one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have 18 product and the candle made it 19 product that I have out there for you guys. So please um support <laughs> a small formulator and go grab one of these ingredients. Uh, let me see which one should I talk about. Well, let me pick the Haber shampoo. The Haber shampoo is a really nice shampoo for your hair if you are struggling with itchy scalp you know sweaty scalp or you always have issues with your scalp use this herbal shampoo it has different herbal extracts in it and even herbal powder like clove actually ground up the clove and use in this in this shampoo and clove is really really good for your for your hair Clove also is antifungal. It's really high antifungal properties. And it also has rosemary, rosemary leaf. Yeah, <laughs> in it. And aloe vera, aloe vera has to calm your scalp and inflammation. Aloe vera is there. There is lemon, there is papaya in this bottle. So this is a great product for you. And you know, I also have hair oil, I have body oil and body moisturizer. The body moisturizer, everybody in your family can use it. The body moisturizer is not like your regular thin lotion. It's a little thick, but it's not as thick as a body butter. But it's um keep your skin moisturized. If you have, for somebody that looks like me with color skin, you know, sometimes we have ashy, ashy skin. You, it will help your skin to be hydrated for you know a longer period of time i'm uh, talking about ashy skin you know what causes ashy skin it's dead skin cell on your skin so grab the herbal sugar scrub you can use it on your face you can use it in your hair in fact i use the sugar scrub in my hair i scrub my hair today thank you so much and god bless you bye bye oh leave your comments
in the comment section i'll be glad to answer your questions if you want me to do any specific video please let me know excuse me otherwise i will have the link to ewa botanicals website to go get my product and i will also have the amazon link to this equipment to go get it it's not affiliate 